Hi guys, so this is the next part of my contouring series and today I'm gonna show you how you can contour different nose shapes. If you like using pretty dark powder here, then use something lighter on your nose because your nose is coming forward and there's more light falling on the surface of your nose so all those dark lines will be very seen. Take something really light and matte. This is Inglot 505. Uh, contouring powder for very light skin and I have very light skin at the moment so this powder for me is good but I also have to blend it very well let me show you flat nose first so I'm taking light powder and I'm gonna show you what does that mean flat nose so I'm erasing all the shadows that I have I just made my nose a little bit flat so now it looks closer to the surface of my face some Asian girls when they make pictures of themselves they feel like they don't have nose at all so they like to contour it a little bit they basically can create any shape they want the brushes I like to use for my nose um, I know there are loads of options out there and many girls try different brushes if you try the brush and it doesn't work for you you throw it away you pick another one any brush more or less has to be handled. This brush was in my eyeshadow palette. It's narrow on the side and it's pretty light. I like to use it. I also like this brush too. It's a bit harder though. So the shadow will be darker and more precise. This brush is bigger and it's very soft. So the shadow it will create will be very blended and it will be pretty big. It's good for blending, it's good for daytime, for every day because it gives that illusion of a light shadow. I take a little bit of that contouring uh, powder and how to understand where to put this line. Just pay attention on different noses out there. Let's do the thinnest I've seen. I think it would be about three millimeters. The tip can be a little bit bigger but it doesn't matter actually. You can make it shorter by applying some dark powder on the bottom of your nose if you feel it's too long like that you can blend it with your fingers I'm applying it to dark now so you would see so the Asian nose gets a bit more defined in this case let's say your whole nose is wide that means your shadows will be very close to your eyes here. Maybe the shadow will be here. So what makes this nose look wider? Not this light part, but those two shadows. I will show you what most people do when they try to contour this nose. They add some dark powder, applying some dark powder here. This is okay, this is the right thing to do. They basically darken the sides so to make it look more narrow. They make those straight lines. But this is the shadow that keeps the nose on the wider side. You should erase this shadow and then you will see if you really need that dark line. You can take something lighter than your skin tone, light concealer or something with light reflecting particles. So, we take this light concealer and see what happens. It disappears. Because this color now is same color as your cheek. So your cheek goes up to this point. Make sure you apply it behind your nostril because this shadow can show up. Just erase those shadows. So if you have wider nose, and if you want to make it slimmer, before you start applying all those contouring powders here in the middle of your nose, just try to do this trick. In some cases, it will be totally enough. If you need massive change, if you really need to make your nose as slim as possible, erase your natural shadows with a lighter concealer, and then you can take darker shade, and then you can create a very thin line, like that, and then blend it. Up to here but I don't want to blend it too much into that area I need to keep it as clean as possible the thinner is the dark line and the thinner is the bridge of your nose that you leave here let's say it's three or four millimeters the thinner your nose will look now if your nose is pretty long and it looks a bit like that 
you want it to be a little bit shorter. Apply some contouring powder on the tip, but only a little bit. Don't do it much because uh, you will look dirty. For this purpose, I suggest you to take a fluffier brush, a bit bigger brush, and create a bigger shadow. It doesn't have to be super precise. And you just make this shadow up to where you want. If you want to lift the tip of your nose up a little bit, like Marilyn Monroe nose, you take light concealer and you place this dot a bit above your own tip. My tip is here and I'm placing it here. If this place will be your lightest point, then it will look like the tip. I can make it a bit wider here. It looks more like Marilyn Monroe, more childish nose. We can also make a line above it. If you have a longer nose, then you probably have some shadow under your nose. But if you pay attention on the girls with super short nose, then this direction between their nose and their upper lip is pretty big. So you can take light yellow concealer and you can apply it under your nose, even between your nostrils, like that. Right here, under your nostrils, and then blend it down. To your lip and it will make your upper lip lower there's another trick to make your nose shorter in case you want it i don't know if somebody wants it or not if you want to make your middle part a bit smaller you can apply some light yellow concealer here between your brows and here on the sides make this area wider and make your nose start lower. Usually the shadow of your nose starts from your brow and it goes down. It creates the, an illusion that your nose starts here at your brow level and it goes up to here. So the whole area looks pretty long. But then if you want to shorten the area, you probably want to move that shadow down a little bit. So let's say our nose starts not from the brow but from the eye crease. Don't darken it too much by your eye. So now it looks more like your nose starts from here, but not from here. That creates an illusion of a shorter middle part. To me it doesn't matter actually. I just show you the tricks that I found when I was doing makeovers of different noses of the world. Let's say you want smaller nostrils. You can apply some darker contouring powder on your nostrils, but the biggest difference here is if you apply just a little bit of a light shade and with a fluffy brush, it will make the difference. But if you make it too dark, then your nostrils will look even wider. You accentuate them. What you can do is you can apply light concealer on your nostrils and behind them, it's very important, to create same color background, then nobody will see them. Nobody will pay any attention on them. If the shadows are not straight here, maybe you have a prominent bone here. Let's say this is your natural shadow. Then it goes like this, and then it goes like this. Let's say you have this bone in the middle of your nose or somewhere there, which is very prominent, and you think that this spoils your look which I'm not sure. Not only you can make two dark strokes here to make this shadow more straight and don't touch here, don't touch your nose here, just in the area where your nose is wider. What you also can do, because you will notice that the natural shadow goes wider here, so you also can apply some concealer here on the side of this bone. Sometimes just one concealer will be enough and you're good to go. Crooked nose, let's say it looks like that. Like that here. Try to do this just with a lighter shade. You just take the side that has more volume. In my case, this is this side, you see? The bump is here. I take some light concealer and I apply it on that shadow. Sometimes it can be enough. Sometimes you just take the powder and apply a little bit here. You make this line as a mirror image of this line. And uh, sometimes 
the tip can be different. So in this case, tip goes here, that direction, and here your tip is a little bit like that. So what you can do, you can whether apply some light concealer on this side, your tip comes back. Or if it's like this, you can apply some dark powder here and make it more straight. Another option, if your nose is like this, you can apply some more brown powder here. Just make this part wider. You can do both. Make this part a little bit wider and this part smaller by applying light concealer. It might just get in that right position, but make sure you take your time. You have good light. The brush doesn't matter because you can handle it. The color matters because it has to be one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. It doesn't have to be dark and it has to blend well. Try to be very close to the mirror and make those lines as if you're very accurately drawing something. Blend all the edges and then you will get used to it. You will know your lines and then you will do this quickly. And maybe one day you feel like, I don't need to do this because I'm gorgeous. Which also can happen very soon. Some people have that Greek nose, which means they have that bump here very prominent bone here. You can just make it narrower from the front, first of all, and then you take fluffy brush, a very light contouring shade, and then you slightly go on top of it. I think I covered most of the shapes. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below, and then I will probably do a Q&A contouring video. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video.